Hello, Redling parents. Tonight I want to spend a few minutes talking with you about the mood meter that we're doing here at Redling Middle School. The mood meter is part of a program that we're doing through uh, Yale University, which is a program called Ruler, which is their um, part of their Yale Center for Emotional Intelligence. And you can see up here, you can go to Yale uh, ei.yale.edu and you can see a lot about uh, Yale and the work they're doing on emotional intelligence and see all sorts of things. But today I want to talk to you a little bit about the mood meter and what we're doing here at Redling and what we've taught our kiddos. So first of all if you take a look at the mood meter this is what it looks like. It looks like um, a large grid and it has four different quadrants. It has a red, red quadrant, a yellow one, a blue one, and a green one. Within these four quadrants they they deal with two different things. They deal with um, the idea of unpleasant feelings all the way over to pleasant feelings and then from low energy to high energy. So as we look at the word enraged, it's an unpleasant feeling and it's high energy. If we look at the word serene, it's low energy but really pleasant feeling. What we've learned and what Yale has taught us is that kids don't have a lot of this emotional vocabulary that is necessary to be successful. So a lot of times they say, I'm mad, it's bad, I'm angry, instead of starting to finesse some of the words that they're saying. So we have kids say, I want to kill myself, when in reality what they mean is, I'm furious, or I'm angry, or I'm depressed, or I'm in despair. So we want them to learn some of these words instead of using just blanket words that they don't necessarily understand. So in our classes for 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, both last year some and then this year more and more, we've really been focusing on the mood meter and how do we use this in school. So we've talked with teachers about how they can incorporate it into their daily instruction from science class to math class to language arts. So for example, in language arts, you know, how did a character feel? Where would that character be right now on the mood meter? If you were two chemicals being put together and you wanted to see a chemical reaction, what where might that chemical reaction fit? Might it be an angry, loud uh, reaction, or might it just be something that's benign and um, very chill kind of reaction as a chemical reaction? So there's lots and lots of application, but our goal is to build our kids' emotional vocabulary. This is certainly something you can do at home. So if you want to learn more about this, and it is something I would suggest you learn more about, I uh, there's some websites you can go to so the first of all again is go to the Yale website and I'm going to include these all in an email so the Yale website tells you a lot about what it is and there's information under ruler for students and families where you can get a lot of good information about what ruler is how it works in your families and all sorts of different things you can get an overview of ruler so you can see what the different components are and it will show you that they have different pieces to it and then there are um, some examples of some, uh, some schools, some evidence, some stories, etc. We're focusing this year on the anchor tools. And the anchor tools are four different things that we work on. We work on a school charter, which we've done and we're going to share with you later. The mood meter. We're just now starting to work with our kids on the meta moment. We just trained teachers and we're going to work on that. And eventually the blueprint. And you can see... Um, that those four pieces are what really make up the foundation of the ruler program. If you'd like to learn more, I'm going to include in the email a couple of different links. One is to a TEDx. Mark Brackett was the creator of, of this program and works at Yale. Uh, this is a great program to talk about the importance of emotional intelligence. He's a pretty charismatic guy and a good speaker, so 17 minutes and 30 seconds. The other thing I want to share with you is just a really short overview, and I'm going to play that for you now uh, about what it is.
So that's just a good overview of uh, the Yale program. So hopefully today this has given you a good overview. One thing I want to finish up with is in regards to this. One of the questions we ask kids, which is, where are you on the mood meter? So I'm angry, I'm enthusiastic, I'm lonely, I'm restful. Our next question is, where would you like to be? Would you like to be more enthusiastic if you're too peaceful and you need to be energetic? If you're lonely, do you want to go up and feel happy about something? If you're angry, do you want to move towards secure? So we ask kids, where are you? Where would you like to go? And what strategies do you have? And what strategies can we teach you to get you there? And that's something you can do at home, which is where are you on the mood meter and where would you like to go? I'm going to include in the email also a copy of the mood meter that you can print at home and stick on the fridge or stick in the bedroom and talk with your kids about these words and these things. As Yale said, emotions are important. They are vital to our existence and to our humanity. We know that kids struggle, especially at the middle school, to be able to express those words clear, carefully. And we know that with your help, we can allow kids and help kids to use those words in a much better way and build their emotional intelligence. In the long run, this helps them become better employees and better parents and uh, better students at school as well and better kids to you. So it's a great way for us to work together to improve our kids' emotional intelligence. Thank you.